Today's episode sponsored by Meat Co.'s newest cut of meat, the Dietitian. Meat Co., we're not sons of butcher. Turn it off! Aww. That's the last thing I need to hear when I'm on the verge of perfecting my own thin cut. Yeah, it's pretty thin, but it looks sickly and the bones be sticking out. <laughs> yeah, I call it the anorexic. Try it! <laughs> so, what do you think? It made me feel fat and ugly and I want to throw up. <laughs> Doug, if you're not going to take this seriously, then carve out my heart! Because I'm not going to need it if Steel Town starts buying diet meat from me, so! <clears throat> well, my tummy hurts and I'm tired, yo! So am I! What do you think? I'm just dinking around here? <laughs> Frequent urination, nausea, and fatigue, all symptoms of pregnancy. For most women, these are signs of magical times ahead, but not for the skanks on today's show. Oh, I hate my baby! Yeah, you did be biatch! So, Alexis, what's your deal? I hate my baby. Oh. Don't hate, whatever. What kind of mother are you? Don't hate. How about we let the audience decide? Everyone, grab your Votatron. Woo, doggy! It's the crocodile pit. What, whatever, don't hate, don't hate, don't hate, whatever. If you all look under your seat, you're all getting a piece of Alexis to take home with you today. Uh, should I get the R burger combo or the Yar burger combo? <laughs> Both. <gasps> I'll be back with your drink. Cough! Look at me! Cough! Cough! I'll save you, look at me! Get ready, Burger Goddess, because I'm going to surf wickedly into your heart. Me first, get out of the way! Get out of the way! You little shit pieces! You just effed up my shit! Aww. No! That blade ain't cutting it. Almost cut me, bitch! Hmm. It's time to think inside the box. I'm working for the big win. The dietitian be pretty thin. Here's another now, try that. Tastes thin, but it's still too fat. God damn it, Doug, you're killing me. Your meat is really filling me. I'm running out of options. That's okay, because you finally did it. I think that's the one. We did it. The anorexic is here. Our meat co has something to fear. Try it. All this fat chicken just walk in. Um, can I get one of those really thin cuts of meat that makes you skinny? <laughs> wow, word travels fast. <laughs> I give to you the anorexic. This isn't thin. I wanted one like that. <laughs> Excuse me. While I go stick my head in the oven. Stupid goddamn kids screwed my shit. You're freaking awesome with kids, eh? Well, I like where they come from. Eh? Huh? Huh? Yeah? No? So, what do they call you? I'm Titty Anna. Titty Anna. Titty. Titty. Anna. <laughs> Your parents got wicked brains. Well, my dad is a breast reduction surgeon. Criminal! Excuse me? Uh, 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 I mean, I mean, a uh, uh, criminal for stealing the stars and putting them in your eyes. Aww. So you need a ride home? Hell yeah. Just let me grab my things. Morris, Boris, Dolores, get over here! Kids? <laughs> Kids? I'll save you, mon ami! Uh, 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 
I can't do this! I need a miracle. Oh, spirit of non-denominational winter festive holiday formerly known as Christmas. Give me a sign! I'm pregnant! You're what? I'm pregnant, dog. Impossible, Doug. Only loose women get pregnant. I know, but listen. As I sat there hanging a piss, I kept thinking about something I heard on the Dr. Bill show. Frequent urination. <laughs> Nausea. <laughs> and fatigue. All symptoms of pregnancy. <gasps> Doug, I get those symptoms every time I eat with my bare hands. It don't mean nothing. Science don't lie. Positive pee test, yo! Hmm. You know, this happened once before. A hundred years ago. Back when everything was made of chocolate. In the coastal town of Nazareth, there lived a poor couple named Mary and Joseph. Joseph had a failing carpentry business, and Mary couldn't find work because she was a virgin. Then one special night, a chocolate angel came and told them Mary'd been chosen to lay a chocolate egg that held the Messiah inside. Out of sight. Being Christmas and all, they couldn't find any hotels, so Joseph rang chocolate jingle bells, and a giant stork flew them to a nearby manger. That night, Mary laid the most wonderful chocolate egg. Suddenly, a knock at the door brought the three wise men and Saint Nicholas bearing righteous gifts of exotic colognes. Out of sight, Santa lit a menorah as the egg began to hatch. And in the holiest of chocolate moments, the Messiah was born. He saw his shadow, so they all knew it'd be another three weeks of winter. Oh, snap! Everyone cheered as the little drummer boy laid down a groovy beat. The Messiah turned water into eggnog and took the party up a few notches. Then the Messiah brought the answer to his father's failing business. And what would you like for Christmas, little boy? A new hammer, so I can help my dad's carpentry business grow and prosper. Out of sight! The party raged on into the wee hours. And the next day, they used that same hammer to nail the Messiah to a cross. But that, my friend, is another story. Thanks for the ride, eh? Can you do me another favor, hun? No problem. Actually, my work wants me to drop these freaking toys off for charity. I can pay you back with Christmas supper. And I can pay you back by eating it. Just kidding. One virgin, one manger, empty, and one stork. Oh, oh. Now we just need to dip it all in chocolate. You sure all this be necessary? Yes. Hey, listen, if I get this right, the Messiah's gonna bring me the tool I need to perfect the anorexic. Just like he brought Joseph the hammer. Now you're getting it, Dougie. Here, go spread this around. It's the accent pieces that really pull a room together. <laughs> it's time for your chocolate bath, little fella. Yeah, this won't hurt a bit. Wow! 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 Holy overreaction! I'm gonna get some beers for supper. You kids be good for Ricky, or you'll be spending Christmas locked in your frickin' rooms. See ya, Ricky. Hey, don't worry, nun. I'll take wicked good care of them. Wouldn't want them getting locked in the rooms all night. Oh, no! You guys like guns? And one for you. Thank you! If anyone tells, I'm blowing up your house. 
Saul, I don't feel so good. Can I have the rest of the day off? You know what, Doug? You are on maternity leave as of right now. Wow. Thanks, Doug. Oh, hey, Doug. Now that you're off work, clean the apartment up a bit. Oh, and Ricky plugged the toilet again. Bitch, are you for real? Yes, it's quite the Yule log. How could this happen to my little angels? Listen, what they need is some goddamn rock in their lives. You know, songs about fast cars and rubber boobs. What? I'm here, and I am brimming to the balls with the rock. Give me a couple weeks and your boys will be trading in their guns for guitars. But what about Dolores? She'll just get slutty. What? I'm just freaking happy everyone is okay. Here's an early Christmas present. Yay! Promise not to tell Santi. We won't! Mini dinosaur! Spare change? What you doing out here on Christmas Eve, little man? I'm homeless, dude. I don't know no Christmas. Does your mama know? That's who put me here, man. My mom's a deadbeat. She was a cleaning lady. Spent all her days on plugging toilets. Said she couldn't give me the life I deserved. So she dumped me in an alley. Go? I get so c cold sometimes. Oh, uh, here you go. Thanks, mister. I know what I gots to do. <laughs> Putting your child up for adoption is a very big decision. Yeah, dog. With my job, I just can't support no kid. I ain't no deadbeat mom, you dig? I think this lovely couple would be perfect. Hey, as long as my son gets a home, my mind be chilled the fuck out. All right then. We just need the birth mother to sign off now and we're good to go. I'll be the birth mother. Aw, oh, you're so sweet. I just love dads that take an active role. Yeah, it's all sweet. Until you got an egg trying to squeeze out your pee hole. We'll be in touch. Now the wise men will know where to bring the baby shower gifts. Oh, Messiah, I hope I've done everything to your liking. Bring me the tool I need! <laughs> How you like me now, you skinny son of a bitch? <laughs> Price of diapers be through the roof! Dang, I dodged a bullet! <laughs> How far apart are the contractions? <laughs> okay, we're gonna start counting from that one. One, Steve. <laughs> Sweet Perry, okay, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> Think I can see the head. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. He has your eyes. <laughs> I think I'll name you Rockford. I ain't no Debbie mom I'll put you up for adoption with no other option It'd be all so hard But now that I've got to know you Everything else don't mean shit My stretch P.O. don't mean dick If I can't raise my No Debbie, ma. Who am I kidding, yo? I can never get my own flesh and blood for adoption. You put the Messiah up for adoption? So, man, you gotta protect Rockford. The adoption agent's gonna be here any minute. No. Fly, Dougie! Whoa! No! Hello? Bethlehem, my ass, bitch! <gasps> Extinct! <laughs> Kids, turn the frickin' TV on. It's time me and Ricky played together. Hey, kids. Mommy and I are gonna go wrestle. After we totally do it! Huh? 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 Hang in there, Dougie! There's an inn up ahead! We got no vacancy! Can you not read this sign? Now? 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 Listen here, buds, we need a room. Doug's about to hatch a messiah! Oh, 
in that case, I have perfect room. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. Wow, a man who's good with kids makes me so freaking hot. How about a teen who's good with boobs? Ricky, freaking do me. Freaking A, it's huge. You gave my kids freaking paintballs? Is that gonna be a problem? Santi's the only freaking man getting in here tonight. Hey, newsflash, Santa ain't real. Yet, I am. Do the math. Santa isn't real? <laughs> jingle bells, jingle. Dressing up like Santi to get back in the panties. Maybe I'll get a handy for giving our kids these toys. Riding the sleigh of homeless, they all smell like cat piss. Pretend I don't hate Christmas. If it gets me late, <sighs> greasing up my body to penetrate this chimney. Who's cooking hot dogs? Rockford is so cold, dog. My jewels be sucked right back into my stomach. Come on, Rockford, don't you die on me. I need your messiah know-how. We got to take him back to the shop, yo. I don't want to be no dippy, Mom. But the adopters are going to take him. Well, if he die, he'll never be able to save your ass. My god, I'm right. Why, Dougie? What? <laughs> Ooh, baby, baby, ooh. Oh, hold on, baby. Kind sir, I need your cell phone. God bless. Ah! Hello? Hello? <gasps> Sons of Butcher, quality meat stat! We have a dying messiah! Let's roll. <laughs> we gotta beat him home! Fly, Dougie! Yeah! <laughs> Player! <gasps> Flatline, we got nothing! God damn it, not on my watch! No! It's over, man. I'm calling it. 12.01 a.m. We lost him on Christmas Day. Oh, oh God, God, no! I am a deadbeat mom. I've killed my own egg! Oh, no. 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 What the frick are you doing? Hey, is there any way to talk to Santa Claus? Oh, Santi, you so freaking awesome. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't get stuck in your chimney. I've had three kids, it won't be a problem. Whoa, let's see what Santa's brought. Yeah! <laughs> hey, these are the toys we gave away. This sucks. You ungrateful little shits. Ricky, get off my property! You've given me the worst frickin' Christmas ever! Yeah? And you've given me the worst frickin' blue balls ever! So we're even! Let's go, Franz. I did everything you asked for! Right down to the fucking start! This is your fault! Non-denominational winter festive holiday! I renounce you and Scotland! Oh! He had your eyes. All right, Doug. I brought the new parents. Where's the baby? It's over, man. Rockford's dead. Excuse me? My dead son peed in this egg. He was too beautiful for this world. This is a kidney stone, you idiot. Whoa, bitch! That's my flesh and blood you be talking about! Actually, it's an accumulation of urine minerals that I'm talking about. Whoa! Freaky! How'd that happen? You do know red meat causes kidney stones. Yeah. You have been eating a lot of red meat lately. 
Then how do you explain this? Mr. Borski, this test is negative. It's red, not blue. Hmm. What color is this? White. For the love of Gord, Dougie! You're colorblind! Middle DT! First robbed of my child, now my color alsatians! Ain't that a B? Hey, look on the bright side. At least I can still see in color. Hey, Doug, just for the record, I've seen a lot of deadbeat moms in my day, but I've never seen one try so hard to save a kidney stone. Go easy on yourself. You're gonna make a great mother someday. It's over. I'll never have the tool to beat the dietitian. Why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I delivered after all. So I dub the Holy Roller. Oh, oh, ah! oh, 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 get it off me! Welcome to our follow-up show on Deadbeat Moms. Now, we got a letter from one of our viewers who felt the need to defend our panel. Yeah, dog. I spit on the TV when I first saw your show. <laughs> then? I thought I was pregnant with the Messiah and totally panicked. I discovered something, man. You can't judge anyone till you pass a really, really big kidney stone. The world just ain't that black and white. It actually shades of gray. And I know, because I'm colorblind. Thank you. And now, a man that claims a Messiah helped him discover a new cut of meat. The Holy Roller. Hey there, bucks! But first, a word from our sponsor, Meat Co. Ooh, presents! <laughs> yeah, Dougie, here you go. Oh, thanks, yo. Paint samples? Yeah, it's about time you got off your butt and learned your colors. It's embarrassing. It's genetic. It's lazy. Here, Ricky. Oh, wigged. <laughs> Mini dinosaur! Yeah, <laughs> pretty awesome, eh? Sucks. Here. Ricky, you didn't have to get me anything. That was pretty nice of you to do. Miko! You've heard of them. Extinct! They're in a happy non-existent holiday! In a happy new year! Doug! Is there any way to talk to Sandy Close? <laughs> <laughs> 